Alrighty. Uh, I'm gonna try to go over this uh, bridge. This is gonna be a pedestrian bicycle bridge that goes over I-25. I never been on this bridge the first time. And it's a quite a, a climb here. Going over this bridge. <laughs> I'm going over I-25 right now. Kind of see all the traffic underneath. I, I saw a couple of uh, graffiti underneath the bridge. So I'm gonna try to uh, see if there's a way to get down there, underneath the bridge. I need to slow down a little bit here. I got the curbs going downhill. So now I gotta find a way to to see if I can get it get underneath the bridge and photograph the graffiti. There's some uh, diversion water diversion tunnels underneath. Let me, let me turn right here. Okay, I finally got underneath the bridge. Now if I can find a way to get down there, make sure there's no homeless people. Let's see if I can park. I always have a hard time trying to figure out that I can park and leave my bike. I don't want my bike to be stolen while I walk down there. It's like a good place to park. Well, that didn't work. I need to get closer. I don't want to get. I don't want to be too far away from my bike. Let's see if I can park over here. Okay, I got some good pictures. Uh, I wasn't able to get down there. It's fenced in, so I'm gonna. Okay, so I'm uh, back trying to get out, but I'm back over here. Um, I'm going to try to explore these bri bridges underneath. I'm not sure what road this is. Okay, try to get in between these barriers. Okay. This bridge is real low, so I got to watch my head going underneath. But I saw some cool graffiti. I'm going to try to photograph it. Just got to watch the, watch the sand get slippery. I'll, I'll park right here. Okay, that was a good uh, exploration of this bridge. I, I got some good pictures of graffiti. You can, you can check out the pictures, uh, I'll post a link so you can see the pictures that I'm taking. I'm using actually my phone to take the picture. Uh, get in between this, these two barriers. Now this ground here is kind of a little bit, kind of like there's like mud underneath the dirt. So I gotta be careful that I don't, I don't slip. Okay, I'm not gonna go over that climb there. I'll try this one, it's not as steep. Man, good thing for this e-bike, it does real well. Okay, now I'll take this dirt bike, I mean this dirt road. Man, this e-bike it's gonna do me a lot of good exploring some of these areas. It has fat tires, it's got two electric motors, one in the front, one in the back. 200 watts. Oh, I'm sorry, 2000 watts. Okay, I wonder if this trail is open here. Well, it looks like there's a gate, Let's see if I can get around it. Oh, there's a little gap in between this wall and this rock. Huh? A big old uh, hole. Ah! Hit hard. My tires right on it. See if I can get over. Well, yeah, I got over. 
Okay. I can get on the road. This is where this road leads to. Like I said, this bike does real well. I have it on uh, power four, which can go up to 20 miles an hour, so that's good enough for me. I very rare do I go that fast, but it but it allows me to move with the fat tires. I can do dirt all day. Never been on this road ever, ever. This looks like I'm coming to another bridge. It looks like there's some graffiti, but I'm not sure if there's any water I can get to it or not. Kind of rough going here. Oh, there's like a soft dirt. Oh, there's some nice graffiti. That was some beautiful graffiti that I was able to photograph. I'll try to try to get out of here now. It's kind of like the dirt is kind of soft. Kind of like, like there's mud underneath the, the, the dirt. Uh, let's get back on the road here. Okay. All right. See where we end up. It's a lot of trees up ahead. I don't know. I don't know what's over there. Interesting. Kind of like a little valley. right side. Let's see where this leads to. I don't, I don't even know where I'm at to be honest with you. Okay. It looks like it goes to the diversion channel. Not sure how, how not sure how the ground is right here. It's kind of soft. Oh, ah. Okay. No, I think I'm gonna turn around. I I can explore that area at another time. I have more time. Let's go back. Uh, kind of soft, muddy. like a nice little valley here. There's water. Very green. Don't ask me where this is because I have no clue. Let's get back on this dirt road. Continue going down the road. Like I said, this bike does real well with this this kind of road. The fat tires really help a lot. Yeah, a little bit of a hill here coming down. Okay, it looks like I'm back at the main uh, bike path, the paved. Okay, let's get back on the, at, on the at, back to the main uh, bike path. Try to go left here. All right. Okay, I'm gonna go underneath. I'm not sure what road this is. There we go. That I'm going underneath. It might be Alameda, but I'm not sure. I'm getting real close to uh, the Balloon Fiesta Park. Okay. 
traveling about 27 miles per hour. Just gotta watch, make sure there's no uh, traffic or pedestrian traffic. Ah, there's a climb up ahead. This motor does real well. I mean, uh, I mean, it goes up to this, uh, these hills with no problem. I'm too old to be riding a regular bike. <laughs> okay, I found this other side, dirt road, gravel road. Let's explore that and see what we find over here. Uh, there's some graffiti. That's what I like to photograph, graffiti. Okay, it says APD. APD of the police department on that wall. Mm -hmm. Let me find a place to park so I can get down and take some photos. I don't know what this is. I took some photos. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna head back out of here. I just hope I don't get any stickers with those little corn stickers. I get it. I pulled a whole bunch out of my tire. Hope I don't get a flat. Ah. On to the left. This is part of the diversion channel. It dumps water into the main, main diversion channel that goes uh, from uh, north to south. Let's go around, let's go around here. Yeah, this, this, t this bike does real well on gravel. The big fat tires really help. Okay. okay. That, that uh, there's a bridge, that, that, that uh, pipe looking thing. That's a small bridge I can cross over. Over the uh, the big paved diversion channel. Let me turn around here. This road is for another day, but I'll turn here and uh, try to go across this little bridge. It's not real big. It's, it's not level, so ah, hit hard. Slow it down a little bit. Going across. Okay. Okay, this is gonna get me back on the main diversion channel. It goes from north to south. I think I'm gonna hit back south. Just gotta make sure there's no traffic coming from either direction before I go into. Okay, I'm taking another side road. This one is on the east side of the, the main diversion channel. I did see some graffiti at the end of this up on, up on the hill. So I'm going to try to explore it. Okay, I'm going to go up that little hill. Another bridge. Not sure what's over here. Looks like an industrial area. Maybe a parking lot. I'm not sure. Looks like a construction company with heavy equipment on the right. Some graffiti. 
I see a whole bunch of trees up ahead or something. Let's see what's over there. I'm gonna stop here real quick and take some pictures. Now, there's a good spot here. Okay, I'm back. And I'm going back to the, to the main street after exploring the area. Uh, tight fit. Okay. I, I hate to uh, say this again, but man, this bike, I'm telling you, it does so well with the fat tires of this type of terrain. On the, on the road here. I think that's Paseo del Norte actually. This is probably the little the frontish road. I'm gonna try to uh, go back to the diversion channel. See if there's a way to get to it from here. Okay. Oh darn, I should have been down at the bottom. Now I have to go away. I have to climb down. Okay, it's kind of steep and slippery. Because of all the gravel. You know, this bike weighs 85 pounds, so it's not a light bike. Uh, okay. Come down. Got both tires down there at the bottom. Now let's climb up. Okay. So let's get back with the main diversion channel and continue to go south. Just gotta be careful when I turn. But there's no traffic. Back at the diversion, the main paved diversion channel. Going underneath Paseo del Norte. This is a nice bike path. It's all paved, nice. Alrighty, we're gonna uh, divert to the right. Instead of going underneath the bridge, we're gonna go on that street. I'm not sure what road that is. That may be Osuna Manzano. I mean, uh, Osuna. It, leads, it turns into San Mateo going east. And I'm gonna try to get to the other side, on the east side, somehow, because I saw some graffiti over there interesting stuff to explore. So there's, let me see if there's a way for me to get around. Not sure if there's a way. Oh, there is. It's like a, like a sidewalk. Okay. Oh, damn, there's some glass. Oh. Glass, broken bottle. I don't want to run over that. Okay, let's see, see if there's a way to get there. The left right here. Try to get in this tight space here. I saw a guy, a jogger, that went through here just as I was driving up. So. 
little bumpy. Okay, there's a way. And I can see that jogger up ahead. So I'm gonna try to keep going and go around him. Yeah, like I said, this bike does real well. I mean, it's, some of these stretches, you know, I'm going um, 20, 27 miles, you know, so it actually does pretty well. Okay, like I was saying, it does pretty well. Okay, so I'm gonna go right here. Trying to see if I can find a way to climb this hill. Let's see what's over here this area. Some graffiti. Okay, there's like another little valley. It is very green. I'm trying to explore that, but before I do that, let me keep going straight and see what's up up here. See what's ahead. It's like a lot of industrial businesses in this area. I haven't seen really a lot of homeless people out. Okay. No, let's, let's go this way, see? Let's go this way here. Try to get to that graffiti on that pave uh, diversion channel. But it's very green over here. It's like some, some ponds on the right side. Try to get you that diversion channel. Not sure how the ground is over here. It's gonna be trying to avoid mud. Okay, it's bumpy, muddy. Ah. Okay, I'm on a diversion channel now. There's that bridge that I saw. Yeah, I turned around, uh, it, it actually ends and it drops into the main diversion channel. Ah, I hate this part. Ah, it's really muddy, I'm getting mud all over my bike. Yeah. Okay, let's explore a little more over here, out here. See what we can find up here. These are areas that are not accessible, you know? This way. Just try to avoid the mud as much as I can. Not, not, that, and it's not that. Ah, it's not that I can't go over the mud, but I just don't want to get my bike all muddy. Okay. So what's over here is like a lot of trees, and it's look like it might be another pond. Uh, has a little bit of water, not much. Uh, okay, I'm gonna try to see what's up up ahead. There's a gate. If I can go around it, there's a little gap between that barrier and that rock. I'm trying to get in the middle and get through. Ah, uh, darn it. Okay, here we go. Let's see what's over here. More industrial business. Business is not much. I'm not sure where this leads to, but it's going east. So I'm back. Oh, okay, let's see if there's a way to get through this way. A lot of, a lot of trash over here. Ah, and it's really soft and muddy. Ah, really muddy. I'm gonna have to turn around. I'm not gonna go that way. 
it's all like muddy underneath. I'm trying to turn, turn around here. This bike is not a light bike, let me tell you. Okay. Slide in a little bit. Okay. Come out. Alright. That didn't work. Let me try to explore a little more of this area here. I just like the fact that it's kind of green on the bottom. Ah! Okay, there's a drop. I'm on the north side of that little oasis of trees. So I'm on the west side of it. Very green. Pond is that doesn't have a lot of water, but it's very green, like mush. over on this little bridge. Ah! Hard hit. Okay. Uh, slow it down a little bit. Alright. Here we go. Uh, slow it down. Make a turn. Okay. And I'm back. Back to the main uh, Conversion channel. Just gotta find a way to get back over there. Um, I'm actually traveling on a place that is not even a dirt, uh, street, a road. Alright, so we're back. Trying to find my way back. I believe that road up ahead is going to be seven ten or so. This is the same road where I saw a jogger. 